Hi there and welcome to YogaPad and welcome to your 45 minute sequence for the month. This month we're going to work a lot uh, around opening the hips, a little bit opening the chest and we're going to work our way into pigeon pose and some variations within pigeon and we're also going to work our way up to a nice balance called Natara Jasana which is Lord of the Dancers pose which is quite a beautiful pose to do so we'll just work our way up to that. Um, you probably you may need a, a blanket or um, something, a rolled towel or something, possibly if you're a little tight in the hips. Otherwise you won't need anything except your lovely self. So let's start straight away. Um, let's come on to all fours to start. Take the knees a little wider than hip width apart. And we're going to start with some figure eights just to warm up the spine and get a little bit of um, warmth and circulation through the body. So sit back, lean your hips towards the left, take a bit of a circle around the back and then lead with your head in a figure eight and around the top. And then your left hip goes towards the left heel, around the back, lead with the head, top of the number eight and back. So inhale as you come forward and exhale as you go back. Inhale forward, exhale back, and nice big circles. A couple more times this direction. And next time you get to the back, change the direction. So start with the right, moving around to the left, and the head goes towards the right, top of the number eight. And sitting back towards the right heel, around, inhale forward, and exhale back. Inhale forward, and exhale back. So a few more rounds just in your own breath. Inhale to come forward, exhale to come back. And then coming up onto all fours, just take the knees directly under the hips, stretch the feet out behind you. Cat cow, continuing to warm up the spine. Inhale, lift the chest. And then exhale, roll the hips under and look in towards your belly button. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the bottom. Exhale, roll the pelvis, lift the lower belly. Nice smooth in-breath, look up. Nice smooth out-breath, look towards your belly. Three more rounds, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Inhale, just to a natural spine, tuck the toes under and lift the hips back, downward dog. Walk through the heels if you want to warm up the back of the legs and the back of the hips. And then settling the heels down towards the floor. Get nice and strong through the hands. Feel the whole of each palm in contact with the mat. Feel the fingers lengthened along the mat. Feel the fingertips, the finger pads, firmly pressing down onto the floor. Lift the spine nice and long, all the way to the back of the hips. Lift the sit bones high. And then settle the heels down towards the mat. So nice, beautiful lift through the back of the hips. From the heart, stretch back towards the thighs. And breathe, nice long deep breaths. Lift the gaze, lift the back heel, and then exhale, send the right knee forward between the thumbs, drop the back knee. If you want a little blanket under the knee for some padding, then feel free to pop a blanket under there. Come up onto fingertips, 
lift the chest and start to soften the hips down towards the mat. Inhale, stretch the front of the body nice and tall. And then exhale, soften down through the hips, just starting to open up the front of the left thigh. Inhale, lift the chest. And then exhale, soften the shoulders. Inhale, feel the whole front body from the front of the pelvis to the sternum, lifting, lengthening. And then exhale, softening the hips. Keep that sense of length. Start to walk up the knee. Nice straight line with the shin here. Inhale, lift the whole front body. And then exhale, start to sit down through the hips again. Just further starting to open up the front of the left thigh. Inhale, lift the whole front body all the way to the collarbones. And then exhale, soften the shoulders down the back as you soften through the hips. Inhale one more time here, and exhale, soften. Release the hands from the knee, inhale the arms up, and then exhale, soften in the hips. Inhale, lengthen the front body. Exhale, melt the shoulders. Inhale, reach the fingertips. Exhale, soft through the hips. Inhale, one more time, reach. And then exhale, soften the hands down. Take the left hand onto the mat. Take the right hand onto the knee. Stretch the spine forward. And then exhale, turn the chest towards the right-hand side of the room. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And then exhale, lunging down through the front knee. Inhale, crown of the head stretches. Exhale, rotate. Inhale. Exhale, rotate. Inhale. And exhale. One more nice smooth breath in. And then exhale. Turn to the floor, place the hands and step back into downward dog. Three breaths. Inhale, lift the left leg, and then exhale, step it forward between the thumbs. If it doesn't quite make it, just give it a little wriggle forward until you get to the front of the mat. Drop the back knee, come up onto fingertips. Inhale, lift the chest, and then exhale, just soften through the hips. Just initiate that stretch in the front of the right thigh. Inhale, lift and lengthen the whole front body, and then exhale, start to melt the whole back body. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, soften. Inhale, walk the hands onto the knee. And then exhale, start to lunge down, soften down through the hips. Inhale, lengthen from the pelvis, the hip bones, all the way to the sternum. And then exhale, soften in the hips. Inhale, tall through the crown of the head. Exhale, soft through the back of the shoulders. Release the hands, inhale, stretch up. And then exhale, melt. Inhale, reach, nice long straight arms. And exhale, soften. Inhale deeply. Exhale smoothly. Inhale, reach. Exhale, take the hands down, take the right hand onto the mat, leave the left hand onto the knee, stretch the spine, stretch the crown of the head, inhale, and then exhale, turn the chest towards the left. Inhale, we're breathing a nice gentle spiral through the spine. Exhale, turn the chest. Inhale deeply. Exhale, smooth, soften the hips. Inhale. Exhale. One more big breath in. And then exhale, release. Place the left hand and step back, down dog. Three breaths.
So we're going to step all the way forward into pigeon pose. So inhale, lift the right leg, then exhale, stretch the right knee towards the chest and place the shin at a diagonal onto the mat and start to wriggle the left leg back along the mat. Bring the hands a little wide. So some people, their hips are quite comfortable in this pigeon pose. If you find that your hips just don't feel particularly great here, leave the back knee on the floor, keep a bit of height through the pelvis and actually sit up a bit. You may even want to grab some containers or some um, books or something just to have yourself propped up here, so if that's better for your hips. Another option is to grab your rolled towel or blanket and pop it underneath your right hip just to give you a little bit of stability and something to sit on there. So there are a couple of options if you're just finding a little, yourself a little tight in the hips. If you're okay to sit down, then lengthen the left leg along the mat. Take the claws a little wider than the mat. Lift the chest, so stretch the front of the pelvis all the way up to the sternum. And then exhale, melt the shoulders down the back. Inhale, lift the chest high. Exhale, soften through the back. Inhale, lift the chin slightly. And then exhale, start to wave your back down. Inhale, like a nice undulating feeling. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale. And exhale, nice rhythmic movement. Inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale. And then exhale down. Inhale up, place the hands and stretch back, downward dog. So just make that nice slow movement. Your hips might feel a little uneven, so just take a little walk through the heels, get everything sorted out back there. Stretch back, inhale, lift the left leg, and then exhale, send the knee forward and the shin at a diagonal Place it onto the mat and take your position. So possibly a rolled blanket or towel underneath the left hip. Possibly sitting up a little higher with the back knee on the floor. Or if you feel quite open and comfortable in the hips, stretch the right leg back long along the mat. Take the fingers wide, a little wider than the mat. Inhale, lift the chest. Feel the front of the pelvis lifting up towards the ribs. Feel the ribs expanding up towards the sternum. And then exhale, soften down through the shoulders. Inhale, stretch the front body long. Exhale, soften through the back. Inhale, stretch nice and tall all the way to the crown of the head. And exhale. Inhale and exhale, nice rhythmic movement. Inhale, float yourself up, and then exhale, down. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come up, place the hands back onto the mat. Flick the back toes under and very slowly lift yourself up, down dog. And again, if you need to walk through the heels, get the hips sorted out back there, then feel free to do so. And breathe three nice long deep breaths. Inhale deeply. Exhale smoothly. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, look towards your hands, start walking the hands back towards your feet. You can have straight legs or slightly bent legs here, depending on how your hamstrings feel today. Clasp the elbows and hang. Let the neck have no effort in it, just let it hang, let gravity just work its little magic down your spine, down the back of the neck, down through the head and breathe, so breathe some length up the front of the legs towards the hip crease and then exhale energy down the back of the legs through to the heels. 
Inhale deeply. Exhale smoothly. Inhale. And exhale. Strong legs. Inhale, come halfway up, hands onto your hips. And then exhale, push through your strong legs to come all the way to stand. And we'll practice a little bit of balance. So inhale, lift the right knee up, clasp the, just the top of the um, right shin, stretch the right knee up, and then exhale, stand firm down through your left foot. Inhale, a nice long left leg, and then exhale, broaden the collarbones and soften the shoulders down the back. Inhale, stretch the right knee up further. Exhale, soften through the back. Inhale, lift that top knee a teeny bit more. And then exhale, release very softly towards the mat. Other side. Inhale, lift the left leg. Just clasp it, top of the shin bone. Inhale, stretch it tall. And then exhale, soften down through the big toe knuckle of the right foot. Inhale, stretch long through the right leg. And then exhale, soften the shoulders down the back. Inhale, lengthen the whole front body. Exhale, soften the whole back body. Inhale, tall. Exhale, steady. Inhale, lift the left knee another inch. And then exhale, very slowly. Release it down to the floor. Very nice. Inhale, stretch the arms up. And then exhale, folding forward, straight or bent knees, looking in towards your knees. Inhale, stretch the chest forward. And then exhale, start to walk the hands along the mat. Take the feet hip width apart. Down dog, breathe. Inhale, lift the right leg, and then exhale, send the knee towards your chest, bring the weight over your shoulders, look forward, plonk the foot between your thumbs, or wriggle it forward if it didn't quite make it. Keep the back knee up, walk the hands onto the front knee, and then start to stand up. Bend the back knee a little bit initially, take the hands onto the waist, stretch the front of the pelvis up, Soften the back of the pelvis down, so the tailbone slightly angling towards the mat, but keeping a nice little bit of a shape in your lower back. So inhale here, stretch the front body tall, and then exhale, straighten the back leg. Inhale, bend the back knee a little bit. Exhale, straighten the back leg, keep the lift and the height through the front of the pelvis. Inhale, bend it a bit, and then exhale, straighten it. Inhale, nice and tall, along through the sides of the waist. Exhale, re-bend this front knee to a square shape. Inhale, take the arms up. And then exhale, take them out in front of you. Inhale, open both arms wide, open the chest, slightly lift the chin. And then exhale, float the arms together. Inhale, open, nice smooth movement, lift the chin, lift the gaze. And then exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more time, inhale. Enjoy the openness in the chest. Exhale, close. Inhale, stretch the arms up. And then exhale, taking the fingers onto the mat fingertips or palm. You can drop the back knee if your back leg's getting tired. Otherwise, keep the back leg straight. Inhale, stretch the spine long. Exhale, turn. Inhale, lift the right arm, look at the fingertips. Exhale, follow the fingertips to the floor. Inhale, open. Exhale, float down. Inhale, open. Exhale, float. Inhale. 
exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Looking forward and stretch back. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, stretch the front knee to step between the thumbs. Come up onto fingertips initially. Walk the hands onto the knee. Walk the hands back onto the hips. Bend the back knee initially. Lengthen the front of the pelvis up. Soften the back of the pelvis and the tailbone. Angle the tailbone slightly towards the back heel. Inhale, stretch through the sides of the waist all the way to the armpits. And then exhale, soften through the hips. Inhale, bend that back knee a little bit. Exhale, straighten it. Inhale, bend it a little bit. Exhale, straighten it. Keep that lift through the front of the pelvis. Inhale, straighten. I mean bend. And then exhale, straighten. One more time, inhale. Bend a little bit. And then exhale. Straighten it up, keep it straight. Rebend this front knee into a square shape. Stretch the arms up, inhale. Exhale, send the arms directly in front of you. Open the chest, inhale, float the arms. Exhale, Sl slowly touching fingertips. Inhale, open. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale the arms up. Exhale. Take the right hand down. Drop the back knee if your right leg's feeling a bit tired. Otherwise, keep it straight. Stretch the spine. Exhale. Turn the chest. Inhale. Float the left hand up. And exhale. Follow the fingers all the way down to the floor. Inhale slowly, exhale smoothly. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and then exhale. Take the hand down, flatten it on the floor, and stretch back. Down dog. Preparing for pigeon pose. Inhale the right leg up and then exhale, send the right knee forward and the shin comes as a diagonal across the mat. Find your position, either knee on or knee off the floor, propped under the hip or not, whatever your body needs. Take the fingers wide, stretch up, and then exhale. Take the right fingertips and just place them uh, just in front of the right knee. Inhale, the left arm up, and then exhale, send the top of the arm bone back. Sweeping the hand, so look at the fingertips, inhale, Open the left hand out, and then exhale, sweep it to the front. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, open, and exhale. One more time, inhale, and then exhale. Taking the hand down and pushing back, down dog. Walk through the heels if you feel you need to. Sort the hips out. Inhale, lift the left leg. And then exhale, set it down. Pigeon pose, left side. Find your spot. Soften down through the hips. Initially, take the fingers wide. Stretch the chest up. And then exhale, soften through the back of the body. Take the left fingertips and just walk them just in front of the left knee. Stretch the body tall. 
and take the top arm up. Inhale, stretch that right hand back. Exhale, float it to the front. Just follow the fingers with your gaze. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more inhale. And then exhale, float the hand forward, place both hands nice and firm, and push back, down dog. Inhale, look forward, start to walk the hands back towards the feet and cross the arms and hang straight legs or bent legs, just whatever you need to feel a little bit of lengthening the hamstrings, lengthening through the back of the spine, lengthening through the back of the neck. Firm the legs, so stretch the muscles just above the kneecap, lift them up without overlocking the knees. Keep them strong, take the hands onto the waist. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, strong legs, brings you all the way up. Very nice. Okay, so let's test our balance again. Inhale, stretch the right knee up. And then exhale, just trickle your little fingers down to your ankle and without moving your torso too much. See if you can just transfer this leg back behind you and see if you can bring the knees reasonably close together. So the right knee may have wanted to flare out to the side. See if you can just bring them as close together as you can. Stretch the front of the pelvis up, lift all the way to the sternum and soften down the back body. Shoulder blades melting down, tailbone lengthening down. Inhale, the left hand up, and then exhale, the right knee, point it towards the floor. Inhale, stretch through the whole left side of the body, and then exhale. Inhale, get a sense of your left armpit, right hip being in one straight plane, and then exhale, just lean forward a little bit. Inhale, keep the upper arm close to the ear, left side, and then exhale down a little bit. Inhale up. And then exhale down. Stay there. Inhale, lengthen the top fingers. And then exhale, slightly push the back foot into the hand. Inhale one more time. And then exhale, stand up and slowly release the right leg. Just walk out the legs. Okay, taking the other side. So bending the left knee up and then walk, 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 the fingers down the shin and with as little movement as possible through the hips and the torso, send that leg to the back and as much as you can, have the knees close towards each other. Inhale, stretch the right hand up and then exhale, send the left kneecap in the direction of the mat. Inhale, stretch the whole right side of the body and then exhale, soften the shoulders, lengthen the tailbone down. Inhale, stretch the whole front body. And then exhale, lead with your right armpit and left hip like they're in one straight plane. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, lean forward a little bit. Inhale up. And exhale, lean, stay there. Oops. Inhale, stretch the right fingers. And exhale. Inhale, reach with the right fingertips. Exhale, push that back foot slightly into the back hand. Inhale, deeply. And exhale, soften in the shoulders. Inhale, stand up. And then exhale, softly release. And walk the legs out if you need to. Stretch the arms up. 
and exhale, fold forward, straight or bent legs, looking inward. Inhale, lengthen the chest forward, and then exhale, walk the hands, down dog. Take the feet hip width apart. Three nice long deep breaths here. Inhale the right leg up, exhale, step it forward. Immediately come up, nice strong front leg, stretch up. And exhale, hands down. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, down. Inhale, open. Exhale. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale down, one more time. Inhale, open. Exhale. Inhale, all the way up, look up. Exhale, take the hands down and take the left hand onto the mat. Drop the back knee, stretch the spine forward. Inhale, and then exhale, turn the chest around. Take your gaze towards your back foot. And if it's possible, lift the back foot, reach the top hand, and find your foot there. If that just doesn't work for you, then repeat the twist we did the first time. Here. If you can grab the foot, inhale, stretch the spine forward, and then exhale, start to lunge down through the hips. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, turn the chest, twist. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale, pull the heel towards your bottom. And then exhale, push the top of the foot into the hand, straighten the arm. Inhale, pull the heel towards the bottom. And then exhale, push it away. One more time, inhale, pull it forward, soften through the hips. Exhale, keep the hips low and push the foot back. One more breath, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, turn. Breathe in nice and deeply, and then exhale, release, and step yourself back. Walk through the heels if you need to. Inhale, lift the left leg, and then exhale, step forward. Nice strong legs, inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands in front. Inhale, open. Exhale, inhale, reach up, look up, and then exhale down. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Inhale, look up, exhale down, one more. Inhale, open, and then exhale, close. Inhale, look up, reach up, and then exhale, floating all the way down, Drop the back knee. So this may be your spot for this twist. If you can look back, lift the foot, grab the foot, then go for it. Inhale, stretch the spine forward, and then exhale, rotate the chest. Inhale, lengthen the spine, and then exhale, soften, lunge through the hips. Inhale, lengthen the spine, and then exhale, twist. Inhale, pull that heel towards your bottom, and then exhale, just send that back foot back so that your arm straightens. Inhale, heel towards bottom. Exhale, foot away from you. Inhale, and then exhale, keep it there. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, push that foot a little bit into the hand, soften the hips a teeny bit more. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, twist. One more big breath in. And then exhale, look down. Place the hands. Slowly send yourself back into down dog. Inhale, lift the right foot. And then exhale, step yourself into pigeon. Take your spot, supported or not. Fingertips wide, inhale, lift, 
and then exhale, step the right hand just in front of your right knee. Inhale, stretch the left hand up, and then exhale, send the top of the arm bone back. Inhale, sweep that hand back, look at your back foot, see if your back foot and your hand can meet, and hold if you can. If that doesn't work for you, stay here and enjoy the nice chest opening. So inhale, lift and lengthen the whole front body, so feel the front of the pelvis lifting up, and then exhale, turn around to look at the back foot. Inhale, keep that sense of lift through the chest. And then exhale, turn the chest towards the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen whole front body. Exhale, melt whole back body. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale smoothly. Exhale smoothly. One more big breath in. And then exhale, release slowly. Send the tight hand down to the mat. Nice firm hands, push back, down dog. Inhale, lift the left leg. And then exhale, send the left leg forward, pigeon. Start with wide hands, inhale, lift up. And then exhale, step the left hand to the center, look behind you. Sorry, send this hand up first. And then exhale, send the top of the arm bone back. Inhale, send that hand back, look back, see if you can meet foot and hand. If that doesn't happen, stay here and enjoy the chest open, opening. Grab the foot, stretch the front of the pelvis tall all the way up to the sternum. And then exhale, look behind you. Inhale, lengthen the front body. And then exhale, turn the chest towards the front of the mat. Inhale deeply. And exhale, soften the shoulders. Inhale, lift the chin slightly. Exhale, soften in the hips. Inhale, bring the foot slightly closer to you. And then exhale, push the top of the foot away from you. Inhale deeply. Exhale, smooth. One more breath in. And then exhale, softly release and very slowly take yourself back into Downward Dog. Inhale, look up towards your hands. Exhale, start walking back towards your feet. Hang, a few breaths here. Enjoy the length through the spine. Enjoy the length through the back of the hamstrings. Stretch the front of the legs up. Melt down through the back of the legs. Inhale, hands on the hips, come halfway up. And then exhale, strong legs, bring you all the way up. So we're gonna try our um, little dancer pose. So inhale, lift the right knee. And then exhale, walk the fingers down to the ankle and without too much drama, send the knees towards each other. Inhale, lift the left hand up, stretch tall. And then exhale, really strong and steady through the back body. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, start to take yourself down a little bit. Inhale, stretch top fingertips and back knee away from each other. And then exhale, down a little bit more. Inhale, reach through the front fingertips. Exhale, push that back foot towards the back hand. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, steady. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale one more time. And then exhale. Very slowly back to centre. And release. Had to put on my serious face then. <laughs> Hard to balance. Okay, so inhale the left knee up and then exhale, just run the fingers down to the ankle. Not too much drama as you just send the knees towards each other. Inhale, stretch the right fingertips up and then exhale, come forward a little bit, find your point of balance. Inhale, reach the top fingertips. 
Exhale, send the back knee away from the front fingertips. Inhale, lengthen, and then exhale. Send yourself forward a bit. Inhale, reach, and then exhale, push the back foot into the back hand. Inhale, reach, exhale. Inhale deeply, exhale smoothly. Inhale, and then exhale very slowly, release. Ah, we just made it. And soften the legs out, very nice. Inhale, stretch the arms up. And then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, stretch the chest up. And then exhale, come to sit down. So if that's the kind of pose, it's worth playing with a little bit. So if you wanna um, do more, you can pause and have a little play with that because it's quite fun. It takes a bit of time to get the whole dynamic happening. Take the feet together, Baddha Konasana. Option here to sit on a blanket if you like a little bit of height through the back of the hips. So inhale, really stretch the front body. And then exhale, send the fingertips in front of you. Inhale, lengthen the whole front body. So lift the uh, hip bones up, stretch the front of the pelvis long. And then exhale, feel the tailbone lengthen towards the mat. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, soften. So find a spot that works for you for three more nice long deep breaths. Can be up, can be uh, forearms, or lengthened arms along the mat. Inhale, coming all the way up and coming to lie down on the mat. I think you deserve to lie down after all of that. Crossing the right leg over the left and then reaching the hands up onto the bottom knee or the top knee, whichever feels good for you. So we're just stretching out the back of the hips. They've done quite a lot of the work today. So inhale deeply here and then exhale. Just draw the knees very, very slowly towards the chest. Inhale and exhale, soften the knees down. Inhale deeply, fill up the whole spine. Exhale, soften through the knees, through the hips. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Release, take the feet to the floor. Change sides. Bring the knees close to you. Either take the hands on the bottom knee or onto the top knee. Inhale deeply, lengthen the spine. And then exhale. Slowly draw the knees in towards your chest. Inhale, fill the whole back body with breath. And exhale, soften the knees, breathe into the hips. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. One more big breath in. And exhale, soften. Inhale, release. Draw both knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a little rock back and forth along the mat. Side to side, back and forth. And settling yourself down for a well and shavasana. So take the feet a little wider than hip distance apart. Let the feet splay out. Take the palms up. It's nice. Uh, broadness across the shoulders. Lift the chin slightly. Back of the neck nice and long. 
First few breaths, make them nice and deep. Really fill up the whole chest with breath. And feel the back of the body melt as you exhale. Inhale, fill the chest. And exhale, melt through the back. One more big deep breath. And exhale, soften, melt. If you can stay a little longer, then stay, enjoy, rest. If time is up for you, bend the legs. Take a couple of nice deep breaths. Roll over to the right hand side. Slowly come to sit. in prayer. Just touch the thumb tips very lightly on the chest. Just take your gaze inward. It's always nice to take a moment to acknowledge yourself, the time that you made for yourself. Acknowledge the effort that you put in, your willingness to explore new territory. So taking that sense of openness that you found through the hips, through the chest, through the breath, and taking that into your day or into your evening with you. Namaste.